These aren't the droids you're looking for. No kidding. They're not even close to what I'm looking for. Okay, we're all clear here. Let's move along. Move along. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Review. Tonight, I'm taking a look at the Bandai SH Figure Arts Star Wars A New Hope Ben Kenobi. Now, this is another one of the figures that they've been showing for a while. We've been waiting patiently for it. So, so patiently. And if it came down to it, if Bandai were to say, hey, we're only picking one movie to make figures from, I think it would be A New Hope. I'd want the whole original crew in this higher quality import form. And at this point, it's essentially just Leia left, I think. I'd like to see a figure arts Tark, and, and don't get me wrong, I want every character ever in a Star Wars movie in figure arts form, but beyond A New Hope, I would want Lando. And uh, if they stop there, <laughs> I would be sad, very, very sad, but I'd be content, I think. But that's just a hypothetical, just, you know, just throwing that out there. They don't look like they're going to stop anytime soon. They're teasing a lot of figures, so I'm just going to take a look at this packaging right here. It's your standard figure arts packaging. You have the black with the silver trim. Shows most of what's in the package, uh... I think. Yeah, I think that's most of it. Actually, if you're looking at the front, you don't really see a lightsaber blade. It's just the hilt right there. On the side, pretty promotional shot of Ben. And comparing it to the Mimbin Trooper that I got at the same time, you can see there's a difference in thickness here. I forgot about... I just tossed that over there. Ugh! I forgot about the extra accessory that comes in the back of this, and it wasn't until I noticed, hey, that's a thick-ass package. <laughs> On the back, more pretty promotional shots. You have Ben here, extra hand, lightsaber, extra head. Down here, you have the warnings, the unreadables. Probably says something like, don't allow him to trick you into thinking that these aren't the droids you're looking for. You do want the Bandai SH Figure Arch droids. On the side, Star Wars logo, more of that silver trim. Top, same thing. Bottom, uh, more unreadables, legalese. You're winning lottery numbers. I, there it is. <laughs> I lost it there for a second. So I'm going to get this open and see if I actually needed a action figure of a old man standing around on my toy shelf. It doesn't seem as exciting when you put it that way. Ooh, and very, very tricky, Bandai. Right here in the package, I, I commented on not seeing a lightsaber blade for the hilt. You pull it out, and... Uh, there's a whole lightsaber with the hilt off to the side. Gone. There it is. Also quickly looking at the instructions. The hood and the hang down hood. Changes out the face. Changes out the hands. Lightsaber hilt splits in half right there. Well, half. You know what I mean. Hook for the unlit lightsaber and then the robe. The bin remnants. And there we go. All out of the package. And I have to say, this is the best action figure of old man Obi-Wan Kenobi ever. But it's definitely not the most perfect one. Looking at the sculpt, the body, the robes, the inner robes, the belt, the boots, everything is sculpted pretty nicely. The inner robes have a nice, tiny, micro texture to it that makes it look like cloth. It's not quite old man Luke quality, but it's nice for what this is. The outer robe seems a little bit smooth. A little bit uh, cumbersome, but we'll get to that here in a minute. It just kind of hangs. It, it just comes down. And then get up to the head. I'm so glad that it looks better than it did when we saw the initial pictures from shows a, a year or two ago. The sculpt is there, especially around the eyes. I feel they nailed Alec Guinness's eyes here, both with paint and the sculpt. They seem a little bit sharp. I'm used to a little bit of fuzziness when it comes to the face printing tech. Uh, it makes it look a little bit more realistic. This, I, I think they brought out more details since there wasn't as much color in the hair and the skin and everything everywhere else. And speaking of the hair and beard, I wish there was a little bit of gray wash to kind of kill the bright white. It's just there. It just looks like a blob of snow on his head. They did, around the mouth, do kind of a brown, and it helps bring out the detail there. I, I just wish it was everywhere. And they also did a great job of the interchangeable face, the seam line coming up and over. It's not as noticeable as what we've seen in past figures. And that may be because of the bright white. I don't know, but you can see that it pulls off right there. And really, in most action... Well, this hood is going to piss me off before I'm done with this. But basically, the rest of the figure is... I hate to say this, but it's a traffic cone. They have all the SH Figure Arts articulation up under the robe, and it does split at the bottom, but it just psh, snaps back together, especially with the brown robe around the outside. But you can't see the legs. There's no wash to it. Why would there be? Because you're not going to see this 99% of the time. Here's the layer. Here's the layer. Here's the layer. Here's the layer. Yes, it would add to some movement if you could get the legs. Well, you can. 
any out, but man, it has trouble standing whenever... <clears throat> it's standing because the robe is acting like a kickstand. There we go. There we go. There we go. But this being a traffic cone, it's not necessarily a negative. Like I said, it's old man Obi-Wan. It's Ben Kenobi. Hey, he was either, well, this isn't going to be sitting, but standing, uh, hanging out, not a lot of action. And on the sculpt of the sleeve, it's always going to be hanging down. So even when you have his hand up, uh, it still sticks out. And I fly away! The hood, though, the more you move it around, the more it likes to work itself away. And even when you get it pressed all the way down, it still looks like a separate piece sitting on top of that. It's not terrible, but I don't know. It, it looks like he's kind of wearing a backpack. But I will say, Hasbro, take a page out of Bandai's book here, and you can see the copyright and uh, trademark information on the inside of the hood hidden away, not just blatantly stuck on the back of a leg or, you know, out in the open. I dig that. But we'll get into the interchangeability of the hood when I get this damn thing going. On. Going over articulation, uh, he's got a... Here, we can look at it right here. He's got a dumbbell joint up in the top of the neck, going up into the skull, and then he's got a ball joint down at the bottom. So he can look down. <laughs> Any pressure to the back of the chin pushes the head apart. He can look up, side tilt, side tilt, beautiful, swivel. He's got a dumbbell joint going into the body, coming out to a cap on the butterfly joint. You know what? To hell with this. If you take the arms and put it into the socket and raise up past the point <laughs> of no return, it pops the ball joint out of the shoulder. I tried just pulling out and it ended up pulling this socket out of the bicep. Then you can take this robe piece off. There is a peg in the back, but it's not glued in. And this shows you all the articulation here. There is a ball joint going down and it acts really, really weak in the shoulder butterfly joint. You can get forward, you can get back, you can get up, you can get down. That comes out to a hinge and swivel at the shoulder, which you can get out. Swivels around. Swivel at the bicep. Hinge at the elbow. Comes up past 90. Swivel, hinge, swivel at the wrist, which you can get up and down. And if you turn it, you can get side to side. Ball joint at the lower torso, but it doesn't really give you any tilt. It's just forward and back. Then there's also one under that. Wait, is it the same joint? And this is a floating belt? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, it's just a floating belt. Then you can see that pops right into there, hopefully pretty easily. Pressure! He's got a drop down at the hip, gets forward, gets back, gets out, swivels right there. Single knee, but it comes up plenty. Ball joint at the ankle. You can get back, you can get forward, you can get rocker out of it, and then there's a toe joint that goes all the way up. Now, like I said, the cloth robe, I'm getting this out of the way right here, and then I'm putting this back on for the rest of the review. I have this cloth robe from Rickor 409 on eBay. I've been using it on a custom Obi-Wan that I've been displaying forever. I found the easiest way to put this on is to take the arm while it's off and feed it up the sleeve. You can get it in the other direction, but with it being that wide right there, it doesn't want to go very easily. But you come to here, you pop it back in, and then you do the other side. And that gives you this. This gives you more range of motion. It makes it more dynamic. It, the hood lays better, as you'll see in a minute. But most of all, you can do this. You can put him in the Hasbro Land Speeder. It is a tight-ass fit. <laughs> in fact, I was kind of scared when I was pulling it back out. But it does go in there. So this is basically four figure arts figures all stuffed into the land speeder. But putting the plastic robe back on, you definitely have to pull the arms off because the hole is too small for the sleeve to go through. You have to line up the peg on the back and then it's just a simple matter of popping the arms back in. Obi-Wan comes with several sets of hands. He comes with two fists. He comes with two relaxed hands. He comes with two grip hands. And then he comes with one force hand on the right side. And to switch those out, no deal at all. Pops off. The other one pops on. Haven't had a problem at all. But the lightsaber grip hand, the hole is going down towards the pinky, not the thumb as we're used to seeing with the figure art stuff. And at first I was like, what in the hell are they doing here? But once you get it on there, it's to give you more range of motion up. Because they have the hand angled outwards, and because of the sleeve, you can't really get, well, you can get straight out like that. Another problem coming up, hold off. But to get it there, the hole had to be placed like that. Because he also comes with two lightsabers, he comes with a hilt. The blade doesn't plug into this. But nice little detail. I, I feel like there should be a little bit more silver somewhere. I'm not quite sure. It comes with this square peg hole on the end of it that goes on this square peg and kind of hangs right there. It's not super secure, and because of the tightness of this brown robe, 
once it comes in and starts settling down, it's going to push against the lightsaber. If you don't touch it, it's going to be fine, but if you move it too much, see? Just falls off. What a piece of shit. And then he also comes with a lit lightsaber hilt. Same details on the hilt itself except for the peg hole on the end, but the blade is a solid piece in the hilt. And blue on blue never works out right. It's kind of a translucent blue. I... It's not super dark like we've seen in the past. And to put it in his hand, it comes apart right there. But I don't know why it comes apart like that. If you pull it apart and stick it in his hand, it's a bear to get on the end of it and push the end back on because most of the time it's up in the sleeve. You can turn it, but it's not a super tight fit. And then you've got to force the hand up and put that into the sleeve or move it which that becomes a pain in the ass too. On top of that, the hands aren't really super stiff material. You can kind of flex it open and just put the lightsaber in. Not a problem at all. So what I'm eventually gonna do is glue this on because when you go to po yeah. when you go to put it in an action pose or even a holding pose, that likes to come apart, especially two hand pose. It's gonna pull itself apart because the hands, because of the arm design, doesn't really line up up and down because the hand design going diagonal. At this point, I'm just ranting like an old man, reviewing an old man action figure. He comes with interchangeable hoods. I, he has the down position one that stays on. Like I said, it's a little bit gappy at the front. You can tell it's a separate piece, but it's not terrible. And then he comes with the up hood, and it's it's good. It's not quite Kylo Ren fishbowl look to it, but it does float a little bit above the head. As you've seen several times, it's pretty easy to pull the hood off. They got hooks that kind of go in and the spread of the hood is supposed to keep it on with pressure. This hood's made the same way. It's a little bit stiffer because of the extra material and the shape of it. You got to kind of put the foot of it down in there and push. Same thing on the other. No, stay on there. Same thing on the other side. And it, like I said, not terrible, but you can tell that it's kind of floating above. Looks okay, but yeah, gap. Yeah. It comes with the Obi Rug Kenobi. I, it just lays there. It's a piece of plastic. It, it's nice for what it is, but it's it, it's essentially crumpled cloth on the floor. But it's rubbery. Let me check the instructions and see if I'm doing this right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Flat side down. There you go. And then finally, he comes with the alternate face piece. This is him uh, taking a nap, snoozing. I, Obi Wan's earned it. Okay. He he's done his job. He can catch some Z's any damn time he pleases. No, this is you know when he's feeling Alderaan explode. Spoiler alert. Or at the end when he you know he's giving himself to the Force again. Spoiler alert. And this looks as nice as the other head. Same paint job, just no eyes. You know his eyes are closed, obviously. And to switch that out, it's pretty easy. That pops off. You have the back of the head. And this one is actually a little bit tighter. It's kind of hard to get lined up. And once you get it on there, it's on there. <laughs> For comparison, here he is with the SH Figure Arts Farm Boy Luke. These look great together. <laughs> they really, really do. They were made for each other. And while the SH Figure Arts Darth Vader 2.0 isn't my favorite Darth Vader, this actually looks pretty good. Here he is with the Hasbro Black Series Obi-Wan Kenobi, and uh, <laughs> that's quite the difference. I don't think anybody's going to be saying that the Black Series figure is a better figure unless you look at it like this or like this. But I may give it to you if you look at it like this. But here's this. <laughs> You've come a long way, Obi-Wan. And then finally, here he is with Gus. You sure we haven't met before? I don't believe we have. You ever hang out at a biker scout bar on Alderaan? Of course I haven't. How about a spice den on Coruscant? No. How about Yarn and Del Gargan's house of ill repute on Tatooine? Uh... <laughs> I knew I knew you. So at the end of the day, I'm super happy to have a version of Obi-Wan from my childhood. The one I've known the longest. And Bandai did their best with making an action figure an old man in heavy robes. And most of my gripes pertain to an old man in heavy robes. He's not going to be doing any squats, any running. Unfortunately, he won't be doing any sitting down unless you do the cloth robe. And I, I feel like that's where I'm going to head with this. Not that I'm going to have him sitting down on my shelf or anything. I just feel like the overall look of it blends in with most of the other figures in my display. And especially with the hood up, it just lays right on the head. And to me, I just feel like it looks better. I know a lot of people hate cloths. But I'm getting to that point where plastic robes just get in the way and that angers me more than the look of 
thread count or something that's slightly large for the scale. But with the cloth robe, most of my gripes about the figure go away. Oh, the inner robes still make it kind of a traffic cone, but they split. The legs can get a little bit more range. It's the outer brown cloak that just locks everything into position. And yeah, the brown sleeves are still under the cloth, but it helps shape it a little. It helps it hang in the right direction. Well, or wrong direction, depending on how you look at it. But all that... Even though I'll get some comments of, man, you really hate this figure. Man, you grabbed the whole review. Why are you such a negative some bitch? Taking all of that, I like this figure. This is still my favorite Obi-Wan action figure so far. Yes, even counting the prequel action figures. But this is the nostalgic one. This is the one from my childhood. He looks and moves and does everything that I've always thought an old man in heavy robes. I said it again, just to reiterate that point can do. Plus, it looks great on the shelf. What are you going to do? So if you like this review, comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the foosh.